Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we're going to see that how we can implement the vegetable detail screen. Currently, you can see that we have a list of these beautiful vegetables, but we can't really go to the detail. And the detail of the vegetable will be displaying, you know, the information about the vegetable, like harvesting information, planting information, bad companions, good companions, and much more. So let's go ahead and work on our vegetable detail screen. In the screens, I'm going to add a new file from the template. I will call it vegetable detail screen. Now, since we are implementing vegetable detail screen, it will depend on the vegetable. Right? So you need to pass in the vegetable so that that particular vegetable we can display the details of. So this means that we have a dependency on the vegetable, vegetable details screen. When we do that, you can already see vegetable details screen over here, the preview. It's kind of complaining that, hey, you need to pass in all of that stuff. We're going to use the preview data dot load vegetables and just pass in the first one. All right. And okay, so that's good. Now, vegetable detail screen, as you can imagine, is mostly like UI stuff. And it's completely up to you how you design your UI. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a scroll view. And in the scroll view, now I can have different things. Like I can add a vertical stack, you know, I can add other stuff also. But in the scroll view, I'll start with Let's say that I start with adding an async image, all right? And so I'm just going to copy all of this stuff because async image is going to be based on the vegetable property called thumbnail image. So here we go. Again, the UI is completely up to you. There we go. We got the vegetable displayed on the top. It looks actually pretty nice. Now you can, if you want, Go ahead and change the corner radius, change anything you like. That's completely up to you. All, right. All these images are actually created by ChatGPT. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the name of the vegetable. So we have the actual over here, we have the V stack, we have the name. All right, there we go. Now, wondering if I can actually go ahead and wrap this inside a VStack. So I can I can try to do that so that I can align things a little bit better. So there we go. And now I can say over here the alignment can be leading. And also I can provide some sort of a space like 16 or something. Okay, that's fine. Currently, it's not really aligning, or maybe do we do want it to be in the center. So we may have to remove the V stack. It's not really doing anything right now. But we'll when we get there, we'll get there. All right. Okay. Next, we have the here we go. We have the body. Okay. And we can add some padding. You probably don't really need VStack, but I'm just going to keep it for now. But I'm going to add a little bit more padding to it. There we go. We got the padding. And I'm wondering over here for the name, if I can provide some sort of alignment of leading. Perfect. Actually, this looks nice. Now, if you want it to be in the center, you definitely can. I mean, that's completely up to you. Okay. What's the other thing we need? Well, let's add a divider because now we are getting into some additional information. So what will be the additional information? Again, it will be, we'll show the details of like the seed depth, the depth, uh, germination, temperature. So all of these things, what we can do is we can create a control which is going to display the detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating a detail row view and obviously it has to have body some view okay whatever 
So detail row. We will display the icon. We will display the title. And we will display the value. So the detail row, it's going to show the detail as icon and some sort of a value, all right? And now let me go ahead and create that. So I'm just going to use a horizontal stack. And the reason that I'm creating the detail row is so that everyone can use it. Like all of the information that I actually want to display, they can start using the detail row. And it's always a good idea to create these small controls that you can start using them, all right? Okay, so we got the divider, that's good. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can actually create the detail. But the first thing I'm gonna add is over here is quick facts. Kind of like a heading after the divider, I'll have some quick facts. It is in a scroll view, so we can actually scroll, so that's always good. And let's see that if we can actually go ahead and add the first detail row. Wow, looks pretty good, right? I mean, it looks pretty good. It says, you know, the icon and then the seed that uh, depth. And I can actually go ahead and start adding a lot of these things. Let me see if I can actually just copy it. If it's complained that we're going to remove some of those things, but currently it looks pretty good. See that? Companions, good companions, bad companions. So, that is actually pretty good. Um, what about pest information? We will get to that a little bit later when we have pest information. Let's go ahead and display the heart benefits or health benefits, sorry. We got the health benefits, very nice, okay. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, what other things we can add? Let, let's add another divider. Again, the UI is completely up to you, however you want to design it. After quick facts, I'm going to divide it. And now I'm going to add some sort of a harvesting, growing information. And for that, I need the section header. So I will need a couple of section headers. So it will be a good idea to just, you know, create a very small control and just call it section header. Again. We are going to be passing in the title, var, body, some view, text, title. And then we're just going to have, have the font, the four color, and other stuff. So the only reason that we're using it is so that we can utilize it again and again, kind of like multiple times. So after the divider, I'm going to go ahead and start with the section header. This is our control. And I will say growing tips. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Somewhere at the bottom. Okay, there we go, growing tips. That looks pretty good. And for the growing tips, we can just add some information. Like the growing information coming from vegetable. Okay, looking pretty good. We can repeat the same process again, but this time we can display harvesting information. And we're using the same section header control that we just created. And there we go, we got the harvesting information. So this is very good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our model. One thing you will see over here is that we don't really have any pest information. Uh, we are going to add that a little bit later. So that's not really a big deal, but it's always good to see our view. And we were able to create this really quickly and it looks pretty nice. I mean, nice and very clean, right? So apart from pest information, the, this is all the information that we are going to be adding. Um, there will be some features that we have to add later that you can add this particular vegetable like carrot into your own garden. We can do that. But before we do that, I think it will be a good idea to make sure that we can actually go to the vegetable detail screen. So over here, we have the list in the vegetable list screen. And what we want to do is we want to create a navigation link. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a navigation link. 
the destination in this case will be the vegetable detail screen and we pass in the vegetable and the label will be vegetable cell view. Great. Now, since the preview is already wrapped up in navigation stack, that's the main reason that we will start to see these, you know, indicators, disclosures, and this will allow us to, you know, go from one screen to the other. Carrot, hot pepper, and you can see that the information is for that particular vegetable that we are selecting. And it looks really nice. It, I mean, it looks actually really beautiful, right? So we can see all of these vegetables are there. Oh, eggplant looks amazing. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is our vegetable detail screen. Now, in the next lectures, we'll be learning about that how can we add these vegetables or any vegetable that we want. Maybe I want to plant broccoli. How can I add this into, you know, my garden? So I can start tracking it. Um, I will take pictures of it. I will write notes about it. All of those different things. So how can I do that? All right. Another thing to keep in mind is maybe if we go to the vegetable detail screen, we should be able to change the navigation title and we can simply say vegetable dot, well, the vegetable that, that is actually being passed. So it will be vegetable dot name, all right? So this is going to give just the name for the vegetable. Um, let's go back over here into our vegetable list screen. Click on vegetable, carrot. Okay, so carrot is on the top now and carrot is on the bottom. So it's kind of up to you. I don't think I would like it to be over here then. So maybe I should remove it. So let's go to the detail screen. These are just small changes that you can easily make. Uh, here is the name for the vegetable. Since it's already being displayed in the title, we don't really need it. So I'm just going to remove it. All right. Perfect. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. I can also go ahead and try to wrap this up in the navigation stack, the vegetable detail screen, so that we will get the navigation bar also. And it says carrot. Perfect. So this is good. Um, and in the future videos, we're going to see that how we can allow the user to add this vegetable into their own garden. So hopefully you're enjoying it. And if you are enjoying it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And the most important is share it. Share it on Twitter, share it on LinkedIn, share it anywhere. That really helps. All right. Thank you so much. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out hazamsharp.school. School is one of the largest collection of iOS development videos. I have courses on everything that you can imagine for iOS development. This includes Skip, AI for iOS developer, full stack e-commerce app development using SwiftUI, Node, Postgres, SwiftUI architecture, Superbase, Firebase, Firestore, Core Data, full stack iOS development using Vapor. Oh, it's just... So much courses, so much to learn, right? Testament development, map kit, reality kit, machine learning, so many courses. And I also host workshops. Now these workshops are three, three and a half hour long, and they are very, very hands-on. The next workshop coming up is on February 7th, but you can always look at the workshop pages and enroll for these workshops. You can enroll for these things by purchasing individual courses, or you can also become a monthly or annual member and you get access to the workshop for free. This is a pretty awesome deal. So hopefully you have enjoyed it and thank you so much and make sure to share the video and I will see you as a Azam Sharp member. Thank you.